I want to spell out the proofs of both the total probability theorem and uh, bias theorem. So a starting point are the axioms of probability that they have here. And let us then first look at the total probability theorem. That. That's just TPT. Then I say that the VN, a collection of events, is a partition of the outcome space. So what that means is that uh, somehow what, whatever happens is going to be part of one of these events being be cover the whole out of space. And the, being a partition also means that uh, those events cannot overlap. Anything that happens is only part of one of these events. Then um, we're going to look at another event A. probability I would like to get. Then my first claim is that this is the same as the probability of the union of our n, so n or uh, the index of the dns, the union of intersections between a and dn. This makes kind of sense just construct this by a Venn diagram that uh, A must, must be, must, you must be able to split A up between A and any of the VNs in such intersections. So this covers everything that can, uh, can happen within the Venn A. Then I am going to use uh, this axiom. to write this as a sum. See, I have this kind of union here, and I want to sum it up. So it's going to be a sum over n, of probability of A intersection Vn. But I'm not yet arrived at the total probability theorem. Uh, but if I now use the definition of conditional probability, I can get that because uh, according to the let me just write it down so according to the definition of conditional probability this thing should be equal to that thing divided by this thing so I just move this thing around and then I will I arrive at the result. So, uh, that was a simple enough proof for the total probability theorem. Let us then also look at bias rule when we are looking at these foundations. basic proof for uh, bias rule in uh, the discrete case with the events. Again, for bias rule, it's only the definition of conditional probability that we need to use. Then um, 
uh, if I know I'm going to let me know, divide by probability of B on both sides. So if I do that, this is all I get on the left hand side. This thing was removed on the right hand side, but I have what is there already in the, the, in the numerator. So that is how you derive a bias rule in terms of uh, events.